My name is John Joe O'Sullivan and I come from the land of milk and honey. I reside with my wife Teresa and family at Grand West Cabri. From a young age I had a very keen interest in farming and I am thankful to have inherited the family farm from my parents. At that time the strongest horsepower on the farm was two horses. It was then dry stock, cattle, sheep and pigs. We started dairy farming in 1975. All female calves were and still are kept as replacements and reared on the farm. My son Andrew presently works with me also. Weather here is not always dry and sunny. The Irish climate gives us plenty of moisture to keep the grass growing for the cows. Having such a rich pasture based platform means we can keep the amount of imported concentrates to the cows died to a minimum. In 2004 we joined reps which encouraged us to introduce some clover into the swards. It requires little more management than grass only. Clover is a soil conditioner and reduces the amount of artificial nitrogen we need to spread. It gives rise to the protein content in the milk and when in blossom provides an abundance of nectar for the bees. The Cabri Dairy Greener project undertook a biodiversity study on all participating farms which revealed an incredible average of 12% habitat areas throughout. This extensive landscape highlights the unique setting we have for our system of milk production. Any existing ditches or hedgerows that require alterations or removal in line with farm expansion are replaced elsewhere on the farm. My hobby as a beekeeper has also kept me in connection with nature and drives home the importance of our ditches, hedges and trees. The beautiful green, white and gold species of white flora which have been around for centuries keeping food and cover for wildlife are too often lost to the misuse of pesticides and herbicides. We time spraying carefully to ensure any flora or blossoms are not contaminated. No one wants these toxins entering the food chain be it through plant, dairy meat or honey. Bees will travel great distance in order to get their pollen or nectar. Here a bee is gathering some pollen from an apple tree. To make one teaspoon of honey, the average hive, the number of bees mile trips they must make to a hive is the equivalent of one bee to fly all around the equator. We're trying to make it a little easier for them here. Our aim is to produce high quality milk and we believe we can do this without having to cost the earth. 